Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a short video on turning radius and recumbent trikes. We've had some questions in the past about the VTX and how wide its turning radius is. We're going to be comparing it to a few other trikes today. We're going to be using some sidewalk chalk to demonstrate and uh, we're ready to go. So let's hit the ground running. Today we're going to be talking about a recumbent tadpole trike's turning radius, what determines it and why or if it's important to you. Basically the turning radius is the distance it takes for a trike to turn in a circle or how tight a trike can turn. We're going to be testing trikes with different wheel bases and rear wheel sizes. The steering is also important as some trike steering setups allow them to turn the wheels at a greater angle than others. First up, we have the ICE Model T. The T has a 20 inch rear wheel and a 39 inch wheelbase. It looks like the T does a pretty good job of turning in a fairly tight circle. Okay, let's take a look at the Green Speed GTO. The GTO also has a 20 inch rear wheel, but its wheelbase is slightly shorter at 38 inches. The other thing I noticed about the green speed is that it allowed me to turn the handlebars further than the ice, letting the wheels turn further and decreasing the turning radius. Now to the ICE Q26. The Q26 has a 26 inch rear wheel and a much longer 48 inch wheelbase. As expected, that turn is much wider than the shorter wheelbase trikes. And lastly, we have the ICE VTX with a 700C rear wheel and a 50 inch wheelbase. And we see the turn getting wider as that wheelbase increases. What's making the biggest difference here? Well, the wheel size itself isn't making the trike turn wider, but because the designers need to have space for the wheel, it needs to be moved further back from the seat as it can no longer fit under the seat like a 20 inch wheel. This in turn increases the wheelbase and will greatly increase the turning radius of the trike. So what does this mean for you? I can say in all the years I've ridden both long and short wheelbase trikes, this wouldn't be a deciding factor for me when it comes to trike purchase or preference. Riding the VTX and the Q26, the only time I've noticed an issue is when I have to go up on the sidewalk at a street crossing and the sidewalk has a sharp 90 degree turn. The GTO and T and most short wheelbase trikes can handle that no problem, but the large wheelbase trikes require you to back up, go forward, back up again and eventually make the turn. If you're going to be riding on the street and you have raised cement barriers at your crosswalks and sharp turns before you get to the crosswalks, this might be an important consideration for you. If you're looking to go fast, you're going to need to lower that trike seat and even with a 20 inch rear wheel like the green speed arrow, the wheelbase will need to be increased to make room for that seat recline. Either way you go, this is probably not something you're going to be spending much time thinking about. We just wanted to give you a quick little visual demonstration of what's going on with the different trikes and their ability to turn tightly or not. Hope you found it helpful. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.